بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so if you want to do some kind of verification for this then we can simply go and enable uh, some some configurations like here if i just go to my topology here i do have two routers topology here connected already so what i'll do is i'll quickly go and configure the ehrp on this routers so before i configure the ehrp i'm going to enable some debug messages just to quick verify the debug messages in the back end so we'll say debug ehrp packets so i want to see only the debug message debug messages of ehrp so probably not recommended in the production scenarios but just for basic verifications we can do this and then we'll configure the ehrp so ehrp configuration i'll explain a little bit more uh, the options what we have here so we have to say router ehrp some as number we have to give and then we have to advertise the networks like network 1.network and network 10.network we need to advertise our own networks likewise the same thing here we need to advertise our own networks and then we'll verify the debug outputs that's a kind of verification here so let's go and uh, check these things so here you can see my topology is pre configured here and we'll get into the consoles of the router 1 as well as of the router 2 here so let's go and quickly configure this so if i go and say show ip interface brief I, I already have this pre configured so i don't need to do any kind of initial configurations so router ehrp i'll be using as number we'll talk about the as number a little bit later in the configuration section so i'm going to advertise my lan interface and the wan interface so here if you if you just check this topology here the router 1 this is my topology and let's do the same thing on the router 2 as well so i'm going to say router ehrp 100 and then advertising your 10. network and 1. network so now you can see immediately there is a neighbor relationship uh, status comes up here and i think i forgot to enable the debug command so let me just quickly do this and then i'll just remove this ehrp and reconfigure it once again so i'm going to remove the ehrp just to verify the debug messages now i'll quickly reconfigure this okay. so so basically you you can see here there will be a hello message for every 5 seconds you also see those messages so let me just quickly undebug all so undebug all is to is to debug, disable the debug messages so in the production scenarios you you should never enable this debug commands unless you are, you are very much comfortable on understanding how exactly the debug messages works now probably you'll see the hello messages will be sent Yes, so it's going to send out a hello message initially, and then once you get a reply, probably you'll be getting a reply. Receive a hello message on the neighbor, and then you'll see the neighbor adjacency will be established. So normally in a normal console, you will see this message. This is your informational messages. You will be seeing, and after that, it will send an update, uh, receive an update. So probably those things happens in the back end. So it is a kind of simple process to verify. Uh, you can just quickly configure and verify these options, but at the back end, whenever you configure the EHRP for the first time, this is what happens. And if you want to further verify, like the neighborship, you can simply go and say show IP EHRP neighbors. You can see the neighborship here, like the router one is establishing the neighborship with the router two on this interface. And of course, by default, for every five seconds, there will be a hello message, which will be sent by every router to its neighbor. okay so so at then they will communicate we don't get into the complete uh, verification here right now but when we get into the configuration section configuration section will be getting in uh, more details on the configuration commands and verifying the routing table other options
Let me quickly verify the routing table. You can also verify the routing table by using show IP route or show IP route EHRB. You can see there is a 20 dot network which is being learned. And this is the administrative distance and this is the cost value. So we'll talk about this in the metric uh, path selection process um, when, when we discuss the EHRB metric options.